e-invoice generation. In this presentation, we will discuss about generating e-invoice. For this, you need to register for your GSP user ID and then specify the same GSP user ID and password in busy. Next, enter the transactions and you are ready to generate the e-invoice. In this process, first of all, we will log into the e-invoice1.gst.gov.in portal. Click the login button, specify username, password and again click the login button. Next, a screen is appearing. At the left hand side, click API registration option. Then select the user credentials option and click the create API user option. Now you will receive an OTP on your registered mobile number. Specify that OTP in the enter OTP field and click verify OTP button. Next screen is appearing where you can register for multiple GSPs. One thing here I would like to mention is that you need to register for GSP either on the eWable portal or on the e-invoice portal. Basically, if you have registered on e-invoice portal, then you are not required to register GSP on eWable portal. And similarly, if you have registered GSP on eWable portal, then you are not required to register GSP on e-invoice portal. GSP user ID and password for both e-invoice and eWable would be same. For details on registering for multiple GSPs, you can refer to configuring multiple GSPs in busy video uploaded on YouTube on our channel. After registering for multiple GSP user IDs, our next step would be to specify the GSP user ID and password in busy. For this, we'll open the busy application. We'll go to administration, configuration, features options, GST VAT tab. Here we will specify yes in the e-invoice required field. Click the config button and in the e-invoice configuration window, you can specify the GSP user ID and password for two GSPs. That is one for Webtel Electrosoft Private Limited and one for Pinnacle FinServe Advices Private Limited. After specifying the GSP user ID and password, click OK button. Now, our next step is to configure the voucher series. For this, we'll go to administration, configuration, voucher series configuration. We are selecting the main series of the sales voucher type and clicking the voucher configuration button. Next, we'll specify yes in the generate e-invoice after saving option specified at the right hand side. Click save button to save this configuration. Next, we are going to invoice document printing option in the administration configuration section. We are selecting the standard sales invoice option. Here, you can specify yes in the print e-invoice QR code. If you want to print the QR code for e-invoice in the standard format of sales invoice. Next, you need to specify yes in the print e-invoice IRN acknowledgement number acknowledgement date field if you want to print the e-invoice IRN acknowledgement number and acknowledgement date in the standard format of the sales invoice. Click save button to save this configuration. So till now we have done with our configuration part. Our next step would be to enter the transaction and generate e-invoice. So we are entering a sales transaction. We are going to sales add option. Specify header related details of the voucher. Next select the item. Specify item related details. Then apply the required bill sundry and click the save button. Next, transport details window is appearing. Here you can specify the required details like GRRR number, date, station to place. And then in the e-invoice required field, you will specify yes. Yes, we need e-invoice for this voucher. Then in the transaction type field, you can select select automatically option. And here you can see e-invoice acknowledgement number field is blank because we have not yet generated the e-invoice. Click OK button. Next visit is asking do you want to generate e-invoice? Yes. Here three options are appearing automatic, JSON and plain Excel. You can use automatic option only if you have standard or enterprise edition of busy and that too with an active busy license subscription BLS. We are clicking the automatic option, specify data in various report options. Next busy is asking check possible errors or view and generate e-invoice. We are clicking check possible errors button. You can see the report is blank, which means our data is perfectly fine and we can generate the e-invoice. We are clicking the view and generate e-invoice button. On the screen, you can see e-invoice details are appearing. You can cross check these details and click generate e-invoice button. Now this is showing that e-invoice is generated and on the screen it's showing e-invoice acknowledgement number also. Next, this is asking, do you want to print e-invoice? Yes. 
and on the screen you can see the preview of the e-invoice. Next visa is asking do you want to print sales invoice? Yes, in the standard format we are printing the sales invoice. In the sales invoice at the bottom you can see e-invoice QR code. As in the configuration part we have specified that we want to print e-invoice QR code in the standard format of the sales invoice. Next we are opening the voucher that we have just entered in the modify mode. We have opened the voucher clicking the save button. Now in the transport details window you can see it's showing e-invoice acknowledgement number, acknowledgement date and IRN number which means you are not required to manually update these details in the voucher. These will be updated automatically in the voucher. Till now we have discussed about generating e-invoice for a single voucher. Now we will discuss about generating e-invoice for multiple vouchers in one go. For this, we'll go to transactions, GST miscellaneous utilities, e-invoice management, generate print e-invoice. Next is asking automatic JSON plain Excel. We are selecting the automatic option. Now here you need to specify various filtration criteria. Here an option exclude voucher already having e-invoice acknowledgement number is provided. You can enable this option if you do not want to view the vouchers for which e-invoice is already generated. You, on the screen you can see two vouchers are appearing. You can select the vouchers for which you want to generate the e-invoice. Here at the bottom various buttons are also provided. If you want you can update transport details from here also. You can check e-invoice details also before generating the e-invoice. Here we are selecting both the vouchers and we are generating e-invoice for both of them. On clicking the generate e-invoice option again this is asking check possible errors or proceed with automatic e-invoice generation. We are clicking the check possible errors button. On the screen you can see report is blank which means there is no error in our data. Now we are clicking the proceed with automatic e-invoice generation button. On the screen you can see it's showing that e-invoice is generated for two vouchers. Coming back to our main screen, here you can see e-invoice acknowledgement number, acknowledgement date is it's showing against the vouchers for which we have generated the e-invoice. If you want you can print the e-invoice from here also by clicking the print e-invoice button. So this is the process of generating e-invoice from Busy. Hope after going through this presentation you would be able to easily generate e-invoice from Busy. For more videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel.